Hey everyone, uh, this is Yo-Yo Mentality Week. And a huge question I always hear from people is, how do I know it's gonna stay off? I'm so worried the weight's gonna come back. And so learning how to identify yo-yo mentality and start replacing it with just healthy long-term mentality is really huge. This week, for sure, you're gonna to wanna to get your workbook out. If you haven't done it yet, lessons one through three are your basis for getting out of yo-yo mentality and learning the mental tools to start changing these bad behaviors, these bad chains, so that you don't have to worry about the weight coming back. And you can lose weight happily and easily, and getting to your weight really isn't even the big deal because now you have the rest of your life to be healthy and that's the exciting part. So um, lessons one and two are going to set the stage and then lesson three talks about tools to break negative behavioral chains, identifying bad habits and their triggers. A lot of people don't even think about the triggers. And then of course, tools for actually stopping these behavioral chains in their tracks. And so you go through, you identify your bad behavior. For me, let's say one of them was late night eating. A trigger was that I was staying up too late and I was tired because I'd procrastinated. So I was in this habit of delaying my work during the day, trying to do it all late at night when I was tired, being stressed, being overeaten, and then just eating all night. And then of course the cycle repeats because the next day I wake up, I stayed at too late working, and I'm tired again, I put off my work. So you can see these habits. So you start to identify the triggers of the habits, and then we create artificial barriers. Okay, how can we change this? What types of habits are we gonna start changing? And for me, that meant setting a work schedule. That meant at nine o'clock every morning, that's when I started working, getting my work done earlier in the day so that I was actually sleeping at night um, other things, just like when you go into the grocery store, creating an artificial barrier, you're not even going to look at the bakery section. I don't even look at the chocolate chips. Half the time, I try not to even go in the inner aisles. I try to do all my shopping around the outer rim. I don't look at that bakery stuff. Um, and then, of course, another great barrier is just getting your mind off of it. Dr. A talks about just avoid thinking about it. You know, if your mind starts to get obsessed with some negative behavior that you're worried about doing, distract your mind. You know, pick up a phone, have a conversation, look at the ceiling count the light bulbs like literally taking your mind off it so um, I think you're really gonna like the lessons this week and I'm excited to check in bye